Good morning. Today we will learn about the valency of chlorine. Before we start, let us look at the definition of valency. What actually is valency? It is the combining capacity of an element. What is the combining capacity? Combining capacity, we will learn about this with the help of an example. The example here we have taken is chlorine. In order to find out the valency of any particular atom we require two particular things one is the atomic number and the second one is its configuration electronic configuration so here we have the atomic number of chlorine is 17 17 is nothing but the number of protons present in an atom so the number of protons present in chlorine are 17 so and the electronic configuration here is 287 287 are nothing but the number of electrons present in K, L and M shells. 2 are the number of electrons present in K shell, 8 are the number of electrons present in L shell and 7 are the number of electrons present in M shell. Let us look at the electron configuration of chlorine with the help of a diagram. Here we have chlorine. Here we have three particular shells K, L and M shells. In the K shell we have two electrons which is the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated so it is completely filled and in the L shell there are 8 electrons so even the L shell is completely full and in the outermost shell which is M shell the number of electrons that can be accommodated in the M shell are 8 but in this particular example in the chlorine atom we have only 7 electrons present around the chlorine so only 7 electrons are accommodated in M shell so in order to attain stability that is nothing but the octet configuration for the chlorine it requires one more electron which is nothing but the combining capacity of chlorine hence the valency of chlorine is one 